Hello, everybody. I've got a special guest with me today. Um, you might recognize him, you might not. He looks a lot different. This is that little kitten we rescued named Gabriel. He's got goopy eyes. He will always have goopy eyes. His eyes are deformed. Um, poor thing. And he's got an overbite, so sometimes he sticks out his tongue a lot. But he is a cute little guy. He always looks mad, but he's not. He's just got weird shaped eyes. He's cold and he loves his blankies. He loves to be swaddled. Anyway, this is little Gabriel. And we rescued him. And remember I had to surrender to him and everything? Well, we ended up adopting him. If you saw my little short, you would have seen that we adopted this little baby kitten. So, yes... I couldn't, I mourned him. Remember that video I did? And I, man, I just missed this baby. I did. I missed you. Huh? So now I've got this little baby kitten that's keeping me busy. So I wanted to do theme Thursday yesterday. But as you can tell, I'm pretty busy. You might want to get out. You want to show everybody how long haired you are? Huh? Huh? I'm going to put him back in the living room here in just a minute. So we'll show you how long-haired he is. He's a long-haired baby. So there's his hair. Isn't he so fluffy? He's so cute and fluffy. He's like, put me down, ma'am. <laughs> he is a cute little kitten, though. And he likes to play. He likes to play on his back, huh? Yeah, you like to play. You do. You like to play. And you like to nap. And he slept beside me all night last night, huh? Yeah. He liked to lick my fingers. Yeah. So, he's been completely recovered. He had, poor thing, he, I'm going to go put him down and I'll tell you what all he had. All right, I'm back. I went and put him in the living room for a little while. I'm going to change um, my sweet Lola Claire. She is my silicone, partial silicone, and she's a dragon skin silicone. And I really love the dragon skin silicone. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to change her into a theme Thursday outfit because I didn't get to come here for Thursday. So, we're, gonna, we're still going to participate. This is the outfit that she came home in. So... There was three themes. There was groundhogs or hedgehogs, knits and crochet, or the outfit that your baby came home in. So that's what we're going to do for little Lola Claire. We're going to change her in this gorgeous outfit because it still has its tags on. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about Gabriel, our adoptive kitten. So Gabriel was the only surviving kitten in his whole litter. And he was found under a flooded gutter, completely soaking wet, on death's door. My mother took him in, because they live on a farm, so it's three hours away. Um, my mother took him in, nursed him back to health as best as she could, and then she couldn't do any more. She didn't have a vet nearby or anything like that. So I said I would take him, and when I got him, oh my god gosh it was just it was worse than we had thought he had severe issues um and I didn't think he was going to survive that night but he made it that night and that morning I surrendered him over to our local no-kill shelter so that he could be tested and treated and everything by the shelter and which he was and I called and checked on him every week um he was gone for four weeks with treatments and um he had a severe respiratory um infection he had um severe <laughs> eye infection you could see that when you saw one of my videos uh he had a uti he had ear mites um he was severely underweight and dehydrated so it was a good thing that we surrendered him over when we did. He needed that care. And so, yeah. And I checked on him every day. 
and told the people that I wanted to foster him if he needed foster care. Well, I went to check on him on the site to see if there was any updated pictures, and I saw that he was in foster care. Well, it wasn't with me, and oh my goodness, I was mad. I called up there and I said, now I I surrendered him, I saved him, why couldn't I have fostered him? And they didn't put it in the uh, computer right. They just thought I wanted to be contacted if he was adopted. So I waited until he went back to the shelter, because he was only being fostered so that he could gain weight, and then he was going to be uh, neutered. Well, then he got neutered, and he was in the kitten room at the local no-kill shelter, so I went to go visit him, and I walked into the room, and he immediately went to the little cage. Well, I saw, I videotaped it. You can see it in that video. He went right over to me and sniffed me and like, okay, let's go, kind of thing. He just such a sweetie so I loved on some other kittens there and then I adopted Gabriel called my husband should I should I do it but I tell you what I had him less than 24 hours that first night and I fell in love with him I got way too attached and I mourned him for four weeks while he was doing treatments so it still hasn't set in that he's here and he's my forever cat it hasn't really set in uh, there's times where i'm cuddling him and he will lick me and kiss me and cuddle me and i'll just cry because i just i can't believe he's here and i can't believe you know i, I feel like i'm in a dream kind of i loved him so much and i didn't ever think i'd see him again i for sure thought he would be adopted and everything so um yeah Um, we're loving him and he is the sweetest. He's calm. He plays a little bit here and there, but he, um, sleeps a lot. So I Googled that yesterday and they said that kittens sleep up to 20 hours a day. So, and he slept all night right beside me. He was a little cold last night. So I, he loves to be swaddled in a blanket he has since he arrived and, uh, he did at the shelter, too. He likes to be swaddled, wrapped in a blanket, and go to sleep. That's what he likes. So I wrapped him in his swaddle last night. And, um, yeah, he uh, went right to sleep. I don't know how I'm going to get this hand in there. I'm going to probably, oh, excuse my hair. I washed it. I got to brush it. It's a mess. <laughs> but... I need the little mittens. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, he likes to be swaddled. And so I swaddled him last night. And he slept beside my pillow all night. And got up with my husband this morning. So. The other cat. I got. Okay, so I got three cats now. <laughs> and two dogs. So I got a house full. And that's my crew. I'm done. Anyway. um, Big cat. The oldest cat we have, she took to him that first night. Um, she didn't when he first came. When he was really sick, none of the animals wanted anything to do with him. I think because they could smell, you know, death and everything. And they didn't want nothing to do with him. But when he returned all healthy, she took a real interest in him. And to, the first night she was playing with him, so I stayed up and sat at the edge of my bed and watched him play it was so sweet but the other cat doesn't want anything to do with him and she's very upset at his arrival but the big kitty she's taking him under his wing she was grooming him just a little bit ago before i jumped on here so she's she's loving him and this is what little lola came to me in and was photographed in this gorgeous pink sleeper with flowers and sparkly gold flowers and a big ballerina bunny and it's got its own tutu and it's got tutu around the arm sleeves oh my goodness it's so cute come here miss lola Mwah. she's got big kissable lips yeah you want to give her a kiss Mwah. 
she is a cute little baby. You wouldn't believe what I paid for her. But right now it is a buyer's market, isn't it? I'm seeing so many babies I want to adopt, but my dolly fund is non-existent because my babies aren't selling. So if you're interested, I've got a toddler Sandy by Joanna Kazmarek for sale. Miss Melody, she's for sale. I've got, you know, I've got my Paris by Ashton Drake for sale. I've got my Meredith by Bonnie Brown for sale. So I've got lots of babies looking for a home I can do best offer. I just need them sold. I need some funds to fund some other things. And there's definitely some babies that I'm looking at that I really wish I could adopt. I'm getting two customs here in the new year. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm getting a little boy and a little girl. So I need to just be content with that. But there is some silicones that are for sale that are really affordable and I really want to get. Um, I do like silicone. I wish if I had the option, I would get my silicones, their limbs and dragon skin, their tummies and torso and ecoflex, their face and ecoflex and their skull and dragon skin. Cause the dragon skin, it's squishy and everything, but it feels like there's bone. It doesn't, you know, um, I have other another silicone that's Ecoflex, and it just squishes unrealistically like a marshmallow. Well, real humans, we have bone. So it feels real. I love the dragon skin. Um, I know everybody wants soft, 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 huh? And she is soft. She's not painted the best. She's a little older, but she was she was so affordable. I just had to get get her. Yeah, I just had to get you, huh? So this is my little Lola Claire in her homecoming outfit for theme Thursday, a little a day late. And an update on my little baby kitty that I've got. I tell you what, I feel like a new mother. I'm just coddling that thing and smothering that thing. <laughs> I love her. I love him, actually. I need to stop saying her. I have all girls. He's my only boy now. And this is a little... Um, her mouth doesn't open very well. It can, but I'd have to force, and I don't want to use force. So I've got this little Behringer passy that's just a little... And it just goes right in her mouth. It just gets held right in there. And that's what I've been using for her little binky, just for her. Yeah. Aw, she's so cute. She's a cute little baby. I am blessed to have her, and I love holding her hand. I always like babies with fists, but I love holding her hand. Something about her little hand in mine. You know, putting her hand in my hand, it feels like, because of her dragon skin silicone, it feels like I'm holding a real baby's hand. And, oh. Uh, Anyway, that is my uh, video today with Lola. Hope you enjoyed seeing Gabriel. Don't worry about his eyes. They are clear. He's all cleared health-wise. He's just inbred, and so his eyes are always going to goop up and look kind of funny. They're kind of slanted eyes. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but cats have two eyelids, so his outer eyelid's fine. They're slanted, but the inner eyelids don't go back all the way. So he's kind of got some vision issues, but we're working with him and he's doing really well. So that is all my talk about Gabriel. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm busy doing lately. So there's Lola Claire. Over here, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to display... Um, my mini, uh, one of a kind clay baby. So I've got it in this basket and look how cute she is. Look at this itty bitty nook. She's a one of a kind little clay baby and I've got her displayed in this little basket. 
And I don't know how I'm going to display her here in the nursery, but um, I will figure it out. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's put her little bracelet on from her auntie. This is from Want More Babies 2015, Davina. So, Davina, if you're watching, thank you. I put her little bracelet on from her auntie. Davina made us these for Christmas. All right. Well, I think that's all I've got today. Yeah. I think that's all. All right. Well, I'll talk to you all later. Um, let me know what you would like to see me do or who you would like to see me change. I'm not really into outing videos or I don't do a whole lot of role play videos. Of course, I talk to them and I love on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't do like a scheduled role play type thing. I'm not very good at video editing. So I hope the talking videos are okay. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye now. God bless you.